I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with no bot. Man, it's your boy. Young Don, Young Don, Young Don. Good morning, family. So, uh, this video, talking to the young ones again. For the young ones, man, I want y'all to think about what story do people put on you. What story do your parents put on you? Do your friends put on you? Do your doctors put on you? Sometimes, like, when I was younger, my, gr my, my grandmother, my doctor, my teacher, they all put a label on me. They all convinced me that I had ADHD. And I started to believe it. And I started to be more hyper. And what I realized was I acted worse after I stopped it after I started taking medicine. So okay. My behavior would be worse if I didn't take my medicine than it was before I even got on medicine. You know what I'm saying? It was as if the medicine was making me act out more. That was my thought. I always told the teachers that. I always told them that was my prediction. And I really felt that that was the truth. Like, since I was little, I always thought differently. I always questioned every single thing that happened. It's just the truth. And, um... I want y'all to ask yourself, what story do they put on you? What do they say you are? Do they say that you have depression? Do they say you have bipolar disorder? What do they say that you have? And I want you to delete that story that they put on you. Delete that story that you have of yourself. And realize you can control all of that. You don't have to live by that label that other people put on you. You don't have to live and, and tell yourself that this is you. Because what happens is we subconsciously start to believe that that is us. We, sub we subconsciously start to believe that we are depressed. So we start to isolate ourselves from everybody. We subconsciously make us believe that we have bipolar. So we we subconsciously have mood changes. But we're, we're, we're doing it, you know? I want you to delete any type of story that you have of yourself. What they, what they call it, mental illness. I've been there. I've been sad, alone. I know the feeling, man. I don't know the feeling personally for you. Because nobody can ever understand somebody else's feelings. But I know the feeling it was for me. And I, I can only imagine it for you young ones. I can only imagine it. I don't want to imagine it. But if you feel alone, young ones, I want you guys to know that you can keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. It's all a part of your journey. And, and now, and now y'all are young. Y'all can, can really understand what the best thing for you can be, you know? Because now you can see everything before it happens. Your life, Your life is about to go through a big change in a, few, in a few years. So you might as well be ready now so you can, so you can set, the, set the layout for how you want your life to be. You gotta realize you can control your life all you want. Remember, I told you everything in your life happens to teach you something about yourself. We make mistakes when we're younger because we really don't know the way of life. We don't understand about the spiritual world. We don't understand anything. But if you understand now as you're young, like right, like as you are now, you'll be able to realize everything that's going on. And now I, I want to talk to the people that's, that get bullied at school, man. You got to stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. A bully only bullies somebody they think that they got control over. A bully only bullies somebody that they don't think it's going to say nothing. They don't think it's going to react. I remember, uh, I never been bully bully. But I remember sometimes people said some shit that hurt my feelings. Like in middle school. 
But I came back with some shit. We roasted, I'm roasted too, yeah. You feel me? Like, you can't just take everything to the chin. You gotta stand up for yourself. And it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be no bullies in the world. I'm sorry. If you still bullying somebody, something is wrong with you. But you gotta stand up because you gotta do the shadow work. Because once you grow up, you've been bullied your whole life. You're gonna still keep be getting bullied, taking advantage of when you get older. You might own a business and all your own employees gonna start taking advantage of you. They're gonna take your niceness and take advantage of it all. So you gotta cut that, you gotta cut that out now. Just stand up for yourself. Be strong. Have that Leo mentality. Be brave. You're not alone. I promise you. You're not alone. A lot of people not going to look at you like they would look at everybody else because you are special. You are different. You are a chosen one. I get, I get crazy looks now. I know y'all get looks at school. Y'all are different. They feel that energy when you come in. They know that, okay, somebody here. They subconsciously just know. So, yeah, they're going to look at you crazy. But you just got to keep being strong. Have that Leo mentality and stay brave. I couldn't be back in school. Not woke. <laughs> I would have had to. I would have been in class questioning everything. Would have had the teacher and all the students in that bit meditating. I would have I would have changed something. You're not finna teach me about Christopher Columbus. Tell me the truth. I don't want to hear all about slavery. Tell me what happened before. Oh, y'all want to keep pushing all this European history? I want to know about my people. Well, I can't learn about my people, but I got to learn about y'all's. And y'all not even, y'all not even from the United States. Y'all, y'all took over this land and y'all want to teach me about this. This is not y'all land. I would have been in that cause of riots. And no, I'm not telling y'all to go cause riots. I want y'all to ask questions though. I want y'all to teach the other people that don't know. But uh, it'll be okay. I promise y'all. I told y'all last video, for the ones that's going through issues in the house, is it going to be okay? I promise you, everything will be all right. You just got to keep on pushing. Keep on pushing and keep on trusting in yourself. Get outside. Get into your meditation. You, that's, how, that's how I coped. I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that guided meditations might send me to the astral plane. And I thought that was cool, so I just kept on doing it. I never did it, though. I never I never got the Astro Project. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. I almost did a couple times. But you got to realize, family, you can find peace all within. It's like a turtle. As much chaos is going outside that shell, all that turtle has to do is go inside that shell. Let meditation and nature be your shell. Whenever anything's going on in your house or at school, remember that you can just go inside. You can go with them. Um, boy, I feel bad, man. I would hate going to school with a full of bots and going home with a house full of bots. I know exactly how it is. I know exactly how it is. I used to go to school to get away from problems at the house. Ended up getting in trouble at school. Now I gotta go stay at the house for 10 days because I got suspended. And then I'm stuck in a house full of bots. <laughs> and school was my way out. And I ended up getting in trouble at school over some little shit. That's why I didn't like school. I, I hated school. school. School got me in so much trouble and it wasn't any, I barely did anything for real. Most of the things I did could have been could have been solved with a, with an easy conversation. Most of the things I could that I did, they could have understood me for what for who I am. Now, not a not a lot of those teachers knew me for who I am. They didn't want to get to know me. They just wanted to 
release that anger that they had probably from their house with their kids. You gotta realize everybody is human. <laughs> Ain't that what they say? They probably got issues with their parent they, with their kids at home, and they come to school and take it out on all these other kids. They might have a bad day, and they'll take it out on you. I remember one teacher almost ruined my whole vacation. They don't care. They don't care. Because they're going to sleep fine at night. But now I got to get mentally and physic uh, mentally abused. Because you want to tell my, my, my parents something that I did in class today. That was so slight. That's why I didn't like school. Them teachers don't really care about you. Some do. But majority don't. Majority don't even know half of the things they talk about. They were taught that in school. And they want you to believe it. I questioned so much. I remember I questioned the teacher. They got I got I got rid up for it. I told the teacher, I don't want this European person telling me about Indians. Cause I'm I'm Native American myself. I told them I want to hear it from a Native American. I don't want to watch this video of this European trying to tell me about Indians when when I know they took over the fucking land and killed them and raped them, I don't want to hear from the Native Americans. I don't want to hear from this white man. I'm sorry, but I didn't. And the teacher got mad about that. They don't want. They don't want to take the truth. I question things. You got me. You got me. You think I'm just gonna sit here and listen to you? But family, I just want to tell you to keep pushing. It's gonna get easier. Your life is gonna get way better for you. You just got to keep going. I promise everything's going to work out for you. Be strong. Have that Leo mentality and be brave, man. Love, peace, namaste, and I'm out.